Okay, YouTubers, I'm out for an early Thursday morning ride. I got called out on a friend's video last week by a 602 Busa. See, he wants the answers to four or five questions. I decided to join in the fun. Oh, the first question is, what names do I go by? I mean, there's a million. Most of them you can't even publish. You know, but my name's Tim, my actual name, so, you know, of course I go by that. And uh, lately I've been going by Timages. Like, a lot of people call me that for some reason. And when I was in school and I was a soccer player, I had a nickname of King. You know, because that was Pele's nickname, and he's the greatest player that ever lived. I was far from that, but... I guess for the level I played on, I was okay. Some people in Florida used to call me Bake, which was not what you think. It was short for bacon. And I was on the beach one day, and I'm kind of thin, and somebody, I was all brown, they said I look like a strip of bacon, so, you know, that's pretty good. And then my carpenter friends, you know, most of those guys are from Mexico. They're pretty cool. They call me Flaco Palaco, which uh, I guess loosely interpreted as the skinny Pollock. <laughs> I'll go with that. And that's pretty much it for nicknames, I guess, that are publishable. But my favorite foods are uh, are Italian and Mexican food. You know, no, there's no question. You know, I, I like I like I like enchiladas. I like tacos. I like burritos. And Italian food. Oh man, it was anything with pasta. I'm sitting down for a long-term relationship with pasta. Yeah, that's pretty much, I would say, Italian and Mexican. I could live on that. I could live in Italy or Mexico really easily. The next question is, what's my favorite beverage? I like water. That's, a, that's the sustenance of life on this earth. I drink a few Red Bulls. If I want to get a little silly, Bud Light and margaritas. I guess that's not silly. I get stupid, downright stupid. Shots of tequila. You know, there's more to Timages than meets the eye. When I was doing a lot of construction and out in the sun all day, I drank gallons of vitamin water. I mean, just gallons of it. That stuff just kept me going. That was good sustenance. Okay, the next question is places that I visited, places that I've like went to for vacation, I guess, or to see friends, stuff like that. I can safely tell you I've seen most of the Caribbean. The Bahamas was awful. Jamaica was the best. The Caribbean was like, it was just a regular place to go. I enjoyed all those islands, but Jamaica is the best by far. The places I've lived, of course, everybody knows I was born and raised in Pittsburgh. I'm a Pittsburgh guy. And, you know, that's one of the great cities on this planet. After that, I lived in Maryland for a while, near Baltimore, and in Gaithersburg, Maryland. I've lived in Florida, Fort Lauderdale, and Key West. I lived in Tucson. And I've lived here in Phoenix. I like to extend this challenge too to four more people that I ride with. Um, one is uh, is Moto Hippie. I want to learn a little bit more about that guy. He's got long hair like I used to have. Not that I'm jealous. Just saying. I would like to challenge Squid with Gear because he's an interesting guy and he's someone I really respect. His videos are among the best on the whole YouTube. So Squid with Gear, you're challenged. Kevin on two, you're challenged. Because I know you're a soccer player, brother, and I know you can handle it. So, so far, Squid with Gear, Moto Hippie, Kevin on two, and who else do I want to put this pressure on? One more guy, let me think. Or maybe a gal. I don't know. Who do I love? Hmm. You know what? I want to challenge a new rider and a new vlogger, and she's a gal I really like. She's one of the funnest people ever, and her name is Candace Kane. So I challenge Candace Kane, the Moto Hippie, Squid with Gear, and Kevin on two. The ball is in your court, ladies and gentlemen. I can hardly wait to hear your hear your responses.